I am about to have a conversation with Brandon Moreno, former UFC flyweight champion of the world, where he is speaking Spanish and I am speaking English. All right, Brandon, you want to come out here and show us this? Starting live translation from Spanish to English. Hey, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo está tu rodilla? ¿Has vuelto a entrenar? Hey, how are you? How is your knee back training? Doing well. Knee is, is doing well. It feels strong. I'm ramping up training. Um, how are you doing? Are you getting ready for your next fight? Haciendo bien. La rodilla está. Está haciendo bien y sentirse fuerte. So today we are dropping a limited edition of clear, transparent frames. Um, and I think this is neat because it's, it's, it's a neat vibe, right? You can see the technology in them. You know, for the first few versions, we spent so much energy designing the glasses to basically hide the technology, um, to make them look like normal, stylish glasses. But now I think people are starting to appreciate what makes them special, and I think having a design that celebrates that um, is pretty awesome. This is Orion, our first fully functioning prototype and if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. You know, not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. It is a completely new kind of display architecture with these tiny projectors and the arms of the glasses that shoot light into waveguides that have you know, nanoscale 3D structures etched into the lenses so they can diffract light and put holograms at different uh, depths and sizes into the world in front of you. And all of that is directed by custom silicon and sensors that we designed and powered by a battery that fits in the arm of the glasses. It is a absolutely incredible amount of technology to be able to miniaturize and fit into a pair of glasses and a small puck that goes with it to help power the whole thing. They're gonna do voice and AI. They're gonna do hand tracking and eye tracking so you can select UI elements by looking at them. Voice is great, but the thing is sometimes you're in public and you don't wanna say what you're trying to do with your computer out loud. Hand tracking is neat for controlling different interfaces, but you don't want to like walk down the street like this, right? So I think that you need a device that allows you to you know, just send a signal from your brain to the device. So this isn't just the first full screen, like, uh, you know, full wide field of view holographic AR glasses. This is also the first device that is powered by our wrist-based neural interface. We do still have a few things that I want us to keep pushing on before we ship this as a consumer product. Uh, we're gonna keep tuning the display system to make it sharper. I wanna keep working on the design to make it smaller and a bit more fashionable. Um, and we're going to keep making, we need to keep working on the, the uh, manufacturing to make it a lot more affordable too. But we have line of sight to all of those things. So we are going to use Orion as a dev kit. Um, we are going to use it mostly internally to build out the software that we, that we need to, but we're also going to work with a handful of partners externally to make sure that we get a diversity of content and, and um, you know, just that we can really dial in the software and the experience so that way when we have the next version of this hardware, it is going to be ready to be our first consumer full holographic AR glasses.